and the Carolina Panthers. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. First time with Alvin Kamara. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. shotgun he'll look to throw and he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop a good decision in the end to pull it and run get some nine yards at a first partner he was going through his progressions not there not there after about the third one he decided he better pull it down and run for it and he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure so from the 36 now first and ten First down carry, it's Kamara. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Second down, Kamara. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. He may try and run for this. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage.
first carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yardage and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be tough defensively. From the end zone, Newton. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Marcus Davenport there to take him down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my, he pulled it in. A big play there for Carolina. 44 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now a play fake here on first down. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. And that's their first sack of this game. But how about last week? Six sacks. Great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. So second and long. And got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Throwing over the middle. And it's incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sand. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. The Saints coming out now to take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach... Can you hang in there and not try and force something that can put your team in some jeopardy? And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. taken down but not before they work it across midfield a very nice pickup of 33 yards so the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10 all right now lucky 56 lucky 56 Now a pitch out to Kamara. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. On 
play action. They'll throw. Flushed out right. And he slides to avoid the hit. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get down to about the 26-yard line. Nine yards on the pick up there as he'll be left with third and one. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Give. This is Camaro, and they'll get him down right about the 20. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Switch it up here and look to throw. Smith catches left side. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football. But you do say, guess what? We can throw it, we can throw it well gun, with a whole gun, lot of confidence. Gun. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead, because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them.
Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They'll run it with Kamara. And that play's not going to get him in as he stops right at about the line of scrimmage. They're held again, and do we have a goal line stand brewing? It's third and goal. and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Saints are able to cash in for six. Lutz good on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Lutz now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. And now a run with McCaffrey. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And now he'll tuck it and run. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. He'll get eight on the keeper there. It'll be second and a couple. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second down, here's Newton. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Sheldon Rankins able to get in there and take him down for a loss of three. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. From the gun on third down, Newton. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. He can run for it, and he will. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. First down, this is McCaffrey. And down inside the 15 he goes. 12 more yards there and another first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing, often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Hey, 
And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Again, the offense will stay out there. They've converted once on this drive. What can they do here on fourth down? not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Just 11 seconds to go in the half as they have it first and 10. They begin on the ground with Camaro. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Throwing is Newton. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. They go play action here on first down. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. A really good pickup of 28 yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. Down right around the 25. Justin Reed, the safety, made the tackle. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The Panthers on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 8. Newton out of throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. 
And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. And Cam Newton's not coming off the field. He'll keep the offense out to go for it on fourth. They snap it to Newton. He completes it to Bryant. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. the intended target and that'll bring up second down we saw this a lot in the first half and it continues these receivers just not able to get much separation so that means they have to win the 50 50 balls they've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them and this time contact and another incomplete pass they'll run it now out of the gun and he's able to plow forward up to about the 29 just shy of the 30 call it a gain of four and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go Second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Following the interception, here's Newton. His throw incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Second and 10, Newton again. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. 
Eight yards on the completion, but now they face their down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Newton. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Read it well, and it's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. As much football as we watch, we've seen this work many times. In the red zone, first down, take a shot at the end zone, and points result. In this case, though, give credit to the defense. They outguessed them, were prepared, and intercepted the pass. Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. He's going to fire one, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Sidney Jones. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Trying to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not, with his height, Setting back there in the pocket, firing over the middle. He can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. So a favorable bounce that time, to say the least, and he's able to convert the field goal there from a long distance. Yeah, the guys behind the end zone didn't need to hike the net up for this one. That thing was a dying quail, but he finds a way to boink it off the crossbar and make it drop through. Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where... The coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see, though, when we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept out the rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. the penalty it's Camara and an alley to run oh and now some space to operate he's at the 50 30 
the 20, 10, 5, and he takes it all the way down to the 3. A big play there out of Kamara, 81 yards. So down inside the five-yard line, I have to say, really just a poor job defensively there. You're exactly right. As a former defensive back, that was not played well at all. But give credit to the offense and give credit to the guy running the football. He gets it down all the way inside the five. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first-and-goal situation. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here this close. Sneak it. I don't think even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. He'll get it up the middle. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. And give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Third down, here's Kamara. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great effort there. With his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Saints are able to cash in for six. Lutz with the extra point. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Lutz now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the... He's got a man complete! A big play there for the Panthers. And even 40 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. And we're back now in Charlotte. Here's Newton now on second down. Taking a shot. He's got it at the 15. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. From the red zone now, Newton. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Newton toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. 
And Gold is able to put it through. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. I guess the good news as they start this drive is that they, they still do have the lead, Charles. If their defense hadn't been able to hold them to a field goal on the other side, they'd be down. But now it's about preserving that very small lead. It is preserving and maybe stretching it out a little bit. Because if you're a starter on that side of the ball, I certainly hope you didn't loosen up your shoulder pads or start to cut the tape off. Because if you did, you did it way too soon. They've got to go back out there with renewed vigor for lack of a better term, and also a good plan. They need points, and they need them now. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Trying to run down some clock with Kamara. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Uh, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. been busy this afternoon it's Kamara again it'll be a pickup of a couple and it leaves him with a third and three partner we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football but these short runs they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along you control the clock you control the ball and that way you often control the game the Saints on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and three. Hurry up, here we go. Green 39. Green 39. He'll look to throw. He throws and he gets the slant route to Thomas. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. This quarterback now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Camara, and for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Well, now they'll try the end around. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that'll force upon him a third and 14.
56. Lucky 56. Now back to throw. The open man is Smith. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. the ground this is Kamara and brought down but not before they're inside the 25 10 more there and another first down That's it, baby. time for a break we're back to see what happens after this on the ground on first with Kamara. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Gone, 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 gone. They'll run. This is Camara. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. The Saints on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This will be third and five. play Camara. he had a quick little spin move but the door shut fast as he's dropped just a gain of two there and it's going to bring up a fourth down now that was a big time play by the defense they as well knew where the first down line was and they didn't let him get anywhere near it So a big one coming now for Will Lutz. And Lutz puts this one through. And that'll move their lead up to four now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. 
Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. He look to throw. And incomplete. The contact made the ball run free and brings up fourth down. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving them nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. Well, with the catch right side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. This secondary is a unit. They've worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. Oh, I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season. But there it is. His first miss. No good. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Elsewhere, they're out of the fourth quarter at MetLife Stadium, and the Giants have extended their lead. A victory there would mean they're sixth on the year. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field. And it's looking.